morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is Pastor Phil Lewis with your morning meditation this morning. The all-sufficient God, our all-sufficient God. God is all-sufficient. God is everything we need when we need it. Um, in Exodus 3, uh, 13 and 14, Moses is at the burning bush. Moses is speaking with the Lord. And um, the Bible says, Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. I am. God's name, I am, is an all-encompassing, all-sufficient name. It's, it, it, it's one who is self-existent. Um, it's all-encompassing. His name is all-encompassing and is significant of his character. Yahweh, Jehovah, is the self-existent one. He is the source and center point of all existence. A.W. Tozer says, when God speaks in the first person, he says, I am. When we speak of him, we say he is. And when we speak to him, we say, you are or thou art. Everyone and everything else measures from that fixed point. I am that I am, says God. I change not. We exist because of who God is. God is the absolute reality that always was and always will be. And we must look to God for our entire being. God gives us our being. He, and he, as a matter of fact, he gives being to all things. When we look to God um, for, with our inward eyes, we see him already looking at us and with divine love and compassion, ready to help us with anything and everything we may be going through. That's the whole point. I am that I am, or the I will be who I will be. I will be everything you need that is necessary for you to make it, for you to hang in there. God is looking at you, and he's ready to help you with anything and everything you may be going through. He wants us to know him intimately. And he wants us to draw closer into relationship with himself. And th th this eternal life, this life with God, that is what eternal life is. It is the truth that makes us free. And here's the question. Are you ready to draw closer and really live the free life? Are you ready to draw closer and really be free? Let us pray. Lord, draw us closer to you. Sometimes, Lord God, we forget that you are right here with us. Allow us to become more conscious of your presence with us so that we won't ever be afraid. For we know that you are our shepherd, our guide, and our God. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. And we pray it in the name of Jesus, the name, nature, and character of Jesus the Christ. And for his glory, we say, amen. God bless you and keep each and every one of you as my prayer. Thank you for looking in this morning. Uh, on the morning meditation, remember that he is everything you need. And he's right there, right here with you, with each and every one of us. 
God bless you. Take care. Remember, Pastor Phil loves you, but God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed. Take care.